a new silent balsa style square bill from Evergreen Japan, a new finesse silent lipless from a small little niche Japanese company, and a major restock of your favorite OSP cranks and soft plastics. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. All right, welcome back, my friends. I am Ben with The Hookup Tackle, AKA The Tackle Otaku on Instagram, being joined by my buddy, Jeffrey the King. We are The Hookup Tackle USA. This is what's new this week at Hookup Tackle, where we highlight some key new items that have come in, as well as important restocks, so you guys can stay on top of the game. What's up, Jeff? What's up, big guy? Thank you for fishing with me yesterday. Yeah, it was a blast. That was fun. Yeah, Jeff is uh, sharing his swim bait insight with me, and, uh, it's interesting. It's yeah. a weird mind to be inside of, Jeff. Isn't it? It's hey, but you get nice ones. You get nice ones. <laughs> I get to be camera bitch on nice ones, which, you know, I'm good with that. As long as we see some nice ones, right? You know, what's crazy is I was thinking, every time I actually fish with you, I catch decent fish. Yeah. I caught two PV smallmouth with you. Mm -hmm. Now PV Lake Pleasant bass. Yeah. Like, I'm a I good think, luck motherfucker, Jeff. I think Jeff. we need to fish more together. I, I think it would be good for you, <laughs> yes. for sure. Yeah, for me, not as much, <laughs> no. because every time you fish, you outfish me. <laughs> Which is strange. So we need to never do a 1v1 challenge. Understandable. Yeah. All right, let's dive into some new products as well as some important restocks I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on. You ready? Let's go. Okay, so as Jeff and I showed you guys at iCast, Evergreen has some really exciting new products that they are launching here in the US market. We're still waiting on these products. Haven't seen them yet, supposedly any day. But in the meantime, we're gonna bring you guys a couple of new product releases from Evergreen Japan to kind of fill in the gap. So we're gonna start right here. This is a brand new crankbait from Evergreen Japan. This is the Evergreen Bel Canto. Now the Bel Canto is a silent, perfectly weighted, balanced, kind of a high pitching crankbait designed to imitate the shape and action of a shallow diving balsa crank that has been much needed in their lineup. As you guys know, if you're familiar with Evergreen, they have their combat series of crankbaits, which are amazing casting crankbaits, but they are a little bit on the louder side. So this gives them more of that shad profile Right, so it's a little bit longer, a little bit thinner profile than say something like a flat force crank that everybody's familiar with. It's a pretty shallow lip, right? It's a little bit flatter on the side, so it's going to have that kind of high pitching, very natural movement. It's just gonna be an incredibly lifelike, very natural crankbait in the water. Let me spec it out for you guys. It's 63 millimeters and 10 grams. Okay, so it's about three eighths of an ounce. They say dive depth is basically one to one and a half meters. So somewhere in that three, four, five foot zone is really what you're gonna be looking at. Amazing cover deflection and just, again, it's just super lifelike with a different profile. So there are, what is there, three, six, nine, 12, 14 different colors. Okay, so it's a pretty wide offering. So I'm just gonna fly through these colors with you, let you guys check them out. If you guys like throwing, you know, silent square bills, you're definitely gonna like these colors, you're gonna like this bait. And Evergreen is doing a lot more of this style color where it's kind of a fully transparent with like a little metal reflector in there. So there's quite a few in there like that. Let's double up or we're gonna be here for four hours looking at colors. So there you go, lots of good color offerings from bluegills to chartreuses to shads. They've got, you know, all the red type colors as well. There's even some crawl patterns, okay? You get the point. So tons of good colors, the Bel Canto, new from Evergreen Japan. 
Okay, another new offering from Evergreen Japan, this time in a top water offering. Now, you guys know that we brought you guys the new Evergreen Loud Buzz introduction here to the US several months ago, and then they kind of you know made a big deal out of it at ICAST, and those should start trickling back through. Well, in the Japan market, they have released a new bubble tornado, and this is their new compact bubble tornado. Now this is just a little bit different style buzz bait than the loud buzz. The loud buzz is more of a, you know, one big blade, more of a full size buzz bait. The bubble tornado is going to be more of a compact size. It's available in a three eighths and a half ounce. It has a flat, kind of unique shaped head that's designed to kind of bounce and lift over cover, so you shouldn't be snagging any cover. It should be really easy to kind of bounce up and over. It's got a different shaped arm with two blades on there. The idea, if you notice these blades, kind of hit each other, okay? So the idea is to create a small, compact kind of buzz bait that still has that sound of a clack and a squeak, so it does create a pretty good sound. It's just a, it's a unique sound, it's something different. So I think you guys will find that this will definitely fit into the arsenal for you guys. You'll love the sound, you'll love the appearance. Everything on it is high end, of course, you know, great hook, hand tied skirt, you know, all the best components that you would expect from Evergreen Japan. Again, it's available in a bunch of colors. Some of these colors will have painted blades on them. Some of the colors, there we go, there's black, there's chartreuse, you know, there's like a uh, sexy shad that'll have more silver blades. So, you know, a bunch of different color combinations. And again, available in a three eighths and a half ounce. I'm always a sucker for a buzz bait. So, you know, I love new introductions, especially JDM introductions. So I think it'll be a great addition to the lineup to go with that loud buzz. There you go, bubble tornado, new from Evergreen. All right. New this week from Lucky Craft. We see three new color additions as part of their official iCast release in the LC 1.5. Now, Lucky Craft has been playing with this CF lens technology, which is basically an insert inside of the bait to give it just a little bit different flash, a little bit different look. These are, in my opinion, without question, the three best ones that they have made. So I'm pretty excited about these colors. So let me run through them. You have CF Lens Gold Thread Fin. I think that's pretty dope. All right, there is the next one, super realistic. That's CF Lens Thread Fin. I mean, a bass is gonna eat that. Mm -hmm. And then finally, you have CF Lens Copper Ghost Green Shad. So again, super natural. It's got kind of that live scale patterning on there. So three new colors in the LC 1.5 this week from Lucky Craft. Also, just a really quick reminder while we're on Lucky Craft. Last week, we brought to you the official release, the special run of the LV 500 F. Tea. These were the four special colors that Lucky Craft did specifically for us here at the hookup. I was confirming with Lucky Craft this week, we're almost down to the end of the shipment. So first off, thank you guys very much for the business. It'll probably be spring again before they get a chance to remake these. So if you got them and you loved them, I've been getting a lot of DMs that you guys have been loving these. Definitely scoop some up while we still have a few available because uh, it's going to be quite some time. So if you missed out, this is your chance. There you go. The LV500 FT. Okay, big restock this week from OSP and a few key items that I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on. So I'm just going to fly through this really quick so you know what to look for. In their crankbait series, the Blitz EXDR we see a restock in eight or nine colors. So I'm gonna fly through these really quick with you. Jinrin is back. Crystal Blue Shiner is back. Jade Shad is back. Crystal Gold is back. Vanilla Chartreuse, Tasty Shad, and Sunny Gill are all back in stock. Now Blitzy XDR is their number one selling, you know, I would call it a mid diving, mid to deep diving crankbait in the stores. Two inches, 
seven sixteenths of an ounce, so it's still almost half an ounce in such a small bodied bait. It easily gets down in that 12 to 15 foot zone. So just a great one. This is the you know secret crankbait for all the smallmouth guys up north. So if you guys have been waiting, definitely scoop them up. Every time we get them, they fly out. So back in stock from OSP. We also see a restock in some of the key Blitz Max DR colors, including Blueback Herring, Ghost Minnow, Vanilla Chartreuse. So this is gonna be just the next size up, two and two fifths inch, five eighths ounce. So just a little bit bigger body, pretty similar dive depth in there. And then we also get a new color edition of Hot Tiger. So that makes its debut from OSP in the Blitz Max DR. We also see a big restock this week in our favorite swim jig, the Slipper Jig and the Weed Rider from OSP. So all colors are in stock. We talk about this jig a lot, so I'm not gonna beat it over your head. Slipper Jig for smaller, like three and a half to four inch trailers. The Weed Rider for some of the bigger, like four, five, five and a half inch size trailers. Amazing swim jig, all colors back in stock. All right, and then a big restock this week in our really what's become the go-to free rig bait of choice around this place is the OSP Dole Live Beaver. You okay there, guy? Yeah. Okay, quiet on the set. OSP Dole Live Beaver, you know, as you remember, this was the one time that Griff actually beat me in a 1v1 challenge, as I can remember. It really hasn't happened since, right, Griff? Quiet guy over there. But this is just an amazing free rig bait. You can Texas rig it as well. But all the key colors are back. A lot of you guys have been finding them since we've re-inventoried them. But green pumpkin is back. Green pumpkin chartreuse. Griff's favorite, the 027, which is uh, dark cinnamon blue flake back. We also see a return in the four inch size, which also works great in a free rig. It's a great flip bait, Texas rig. And then, you know, big restock in the three inch size, which works great. Just a smaller finesse Ned rig that kind of stuff. So if you guys have been waiting on beavers, definitely snatch them up now. And while we're talking about beavers, we see a massive restock of our number one selling Reaction Innovations beaver, the Spicy Beaver. So all colors are back, as well as a brand new color drop from them, Dirty Sanchez. Now Dirty Sanchez is one of the most popular colors that they've had in a Sweet Beaver. It's a staple in most everybody's arsenal. It's basically green pumpkin and chartreuse, but this is the first time that it's been offered in the Spicy Beaver. Spicy Beaver is their newer offering. It has a little thicker plastic here to, you know, give it a little bit more body so it reduces tearing on the hook and then you simply just detach these claws and it just has a great side to side flap as it comes through the water so again it's been our hottest selling beaver of the last year basically since it's been out excited to see that they're expanding the color palette into some new colors so dirty sanchez as well as a full restock of other colors in stock this week from reaction innovations jeff what do you like more a rico or a yellow magic well i Inclined to say Rico because I know what a Rico is. A Yellow Magic, I've never heard of, so... Okay. So, Yellow Magic is basically a Rico. There's a lot of controversy as to, is it the same thing? Is it different? I don't really know the answer, but some people like the Yellow Magic. Some people like the Rico. It's kind of the Texas Rico. You know how you're out here in Arizona, so... All you throw is a Rico. Yeah. In Texas, you pretty much just throw the Yellow Magic. So back in stock this week, the Yellow Magic Magnum in all colors. We also expanded our Yellow Magic line into the smaller, just Yellow Magic. So a lot of you guys have been asking for the smaller offerings from them. So those are in stock now as well. And then we also expanded into the Yellow Magic Havana, which is their walking bait. So it's a pretty cool walking bait, three quarters of an ounce. It's got a nice loud sound to it. All right, so you're gonna get that kind of knocking uh, sound to call them up. It's still a pretty small profile, so it's not as big of a profile as say like a super spook or a full size kick knocker, but you get that weight and sound in it. So it's available in six pretty dope colors. So Havana, new this week from Yellow Magic. Is it made by Lobina? No. Oh. But it could be stolen from Lobina or vice versa, depending on which camp you're in. Huh. You've never heard this controversy I've, before? No. 
Yellow Magic Magnum. Rio Rico. All right. So what came first, the chicken or the egg? Exactly. Now, what is the true difference? Okay. What I can tell you is they are made in different factories. The Rico is still made in Japan. Yellow Magic is made in China. Okay. This is going to save you about 10 bucks over this guy. Now, different sound. But that's it. Now, rumor is that some of the original Yellow Magics had Rico on the back. Like they bought Rico blanks and painted. Hmm. Uh, I've also heard the same rumor from Rico that some of theirs had Yellow Magic on the back. So I don't know. Chicken or the egg, Jeff? Both? Yeah, there you go. So options, I don't know which one it is. Dope, dude. But there you go. There There's, you go. And these are all back in stock as well, by the way. So the full color range of Lobina, back in stock in Rico and Rio. Boom. Now you know the controversy. Guys. Great. All right. Some new color additions to the Picasso. Picasso? Picasso. To the Picasso tungsten football jig. Uh, this week we see four new color additions. We see dark red craw. We see green pumpkin orange tiger. We see green pumpkin glimmer and we see bluegill. So this is one of our more popular tungsten football jigs. It's nice that they're expanding the product into some new colors. So those are new this week in all sizes. And then new for us this week, this has been out on the market, but we haven't had them in store, but you know, underspins have become very difficult to keep around. It's kind of that season. A lot of the smaller, nichier brands have just really struggled to keep any production. So we brought in the Picasso underspin. I don't know why I'm going Picasso. Yeah, today. you're saying Peacock. Picasso. Picasso. But I'll take one of these out just in case you're not familiar with these. It's a pretty dope concept. They do come with an extra blade harness as well. But basically they've taken the Picasso swim bait head, which is the head that I use probably 90% of the time on my A-Rig. And they basically put like a silicone collar up over it with an underspin. Uh, so it's flexible and it will kind of as you know, you put the swim bait on there, it will lift up and be in perfect position. So if you guys are looking for a different type of underspin, or maybe some of you guys are throwing this already and happy with it, they are available now. All right, new product this week from Some Lures. Now, Some Lures is a small little niche Japanese lure company. We have brought you guys the Some Vibe in the past. Well, they have created a little more finesse version. This is the Sub some vibe mini 4.5 okay so this is a 4.5 gram little lipless now all the some vibe are silent so it is a perfectly balanced little finesse this is definitely going to be more of like a bfs type lipless or, or spinning lipless right there's no sound to it right it's perfectly balanced just a nice little finesse quiet lipless so you know, if you get in a situation where you need to downsize and you need that, you know, just quieter approach, could be a great option for you. It's available in a handful of colors. Okay, so I'll just fly through them with you real quick. There's kind of like their ghost transparent bluegill. There's a couple of really nice shad profiles in there as well. And then a couple of golds and a pearl. So from some lures, the Sum Vibe Mini 4.5 available this week, new. All right, and then Owner Japan gave us a call, said they had an extra case of one of their popular drop shot baits. This is the Shiver Tail. Asked if we wanted to bring them in and, you know, bring them to you guys. So I said, why not? There's not a ton of them. I think there's only maybe 80 or 100 bags total across the line. Of course, you could Nico rig this, you can drop shot it, but it's just a small little finesse kind of, you know, shiver tail for, I mean, it's what it is. So there you guys go if you want to. All right, there you go. So here's a closer look of the owner shiver tail. So again, you know, just a nice drop shot worm. It's got, you know, just a different shape to it. It's got the little ribs in the middle. We know that Jeff loves things ribbed, don't you, Jeff? Mm -hmm. And it's got that little, you know, kind of shiver tail. 
So there you go. If you're looking for something just different, drop shot, scoop them up. Again, I don't expect this to be a regular stock item. They are pretty much like, hey, we've got a box. Do you want them? So we took them. So there you go. If you want to try something new and different from owner, the Shiver Tail available now. All right, handful of new colors this week from Depths in the Corrigan Magnum. Corrigan Magnum is their newest crankbait on the lineup. It's a really nice addition uh, along with the Evoke. So, you know, we've had it in stock for a while. It's available in several different sizes, a 150, a 250, 350, 450. I'll just kind of fly through the new colors. It's definitely one I know a lot of you guys have been into. So if you've been throwing it and liking it, you might want to check out some of the new color additions, but that is new this week from Depths. And then we see some important restocks from Mega Bass. I know a lot of you guys have been, you know, products have been difficult uh, to say the least in some of the key colors. So over the next few weeks, we should see a pretty good restock in most of the Mega Bass items. But I know a lot of you guys have been looking for jerk baits. Some of the key colors in jerk baits return. SB OB Shad is back. That is the one that's transparent that has that orange back to it that you can see underneath. Ito Wakasagi is back. In the FX series, Pumpkin Seed, as well as all the key colors in the FX are back. You guys remember the FX is the true suspending 110. It has the flexible lip to it. So if you guys are fishing current, like I know up on the St. Lawrence River and that kind of stuff, the FX is money. Uh, just gets weighted slightly different than the original 110. It does have that flexible lip to it, so it's going to give you a little bit better casting distance. Uh, but the biggest thing with the FX is because it's weighted to true suspend instead of slow float like an original 110, it just maintains maintains more of a horizontal profile underwater, gives you that more true suspend. So if you guys have been waiting on some of the colors of that guy, those are back in stock. And then we are down to the last of the batch, this is it, of GP Crystal Lime Frog. So uh, this was the Respect Series drop, the one-time drop. We were able to secure another batch of, I think you talked about them maybe a week or two ago, Jeff. I did. We're down to the end. So if you guys need to scoop anything else up, this is it, and they will be gone forever. So just a reminder on that. Restock this week is some of the key colors in iSlide 262. This is the largest glide bait from Mega Bass, uh, 262 millimeters, a little over six ounces. It's got a really amazing erratic movement to it, but some of the key colors like Hasu returns, Jeff and I were just talking about like, I don't know why they tease us with some colors that are so dope, but they're only in one bait. But hopefully if Mega Bass is listening, they'll expand this into some others. Ugui also returns. You love the way I say that. I just wanted to say this so I could say Ugui. It's been a while, Jeff. Ugui to you. Uh, Why don't yeah. you pronounce it, Jeff? No, you nail it every single time. Bro. Ugui. Yeah. Why so, does that look different than the the Magdraft Ugui? It was. It's a completely different color. It, the Magdraft Ugui <laughs> is like red and black, and this one is like a beautiful like carp. Yeah. Dark trout, golden shiner, right? Uh, yeah. So, anyways, if you guys have been waiting on ice slides, those are back. We also see a big restock in 8-inch Magdraft this week in a bunch of the key colors like Albino Pearl Shad, MB Shad, the JDM Chartreuse back. Those are all back as well. And then I meant to put these in with the jerk baits, but Diving Flap Slaps, Flap Slap LBOs, and Regular Flap Slaps all back in stock from Mega Bass US and Mega Bass Japan this week. So if you guys have been waiting on any of those, those are all back in stock. All right, guys, that is... A wrap. A kind of a light week this week, Jeff. Yeah. Not as much as some other weeks, but we have some really big weeks coming. Some dope stuff this week. So I know you guys are going to, you know, really dig some of those new items. I know some of those restocks, like especially OSP, that kind of stuff, are gonna fly out of here. So, you know, if you guys have any questions or anything we talked about, drop it down below for me. I will definitely get to it. Jeff will leave links to all the products. Guys, thank you for the business. Thank you for the support. You want a beer, Jeff? Look at that thing. We haven't seen one of those on camera in a while. Oh, thank goodness. They are back in stock. This was actually a birthday gift from Carmen. Oh, wow. So, birthday beer for huh. me. Yeah. You know. So, thank you, Carmen. Cheers. Guys, thank you for spending Sunday morning with me. Again, I'm available. If you have any questions, holler at me. Until next time, enjoy your weekend, everyone. Cheers. Happy Sunday, Jeff. Yeah, dude. Let's go fishing. I'm in. All right, let's go. Cheers, you guys. Peace.